Good evening, everybody. I'm C.J. Ward. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. Six patients of Dr. Alan Tomaszewski te just tested positive for hepatitis C. News Channel 3 reporter Victoria Sanchez joins us here in studio. And Tori, these results are from the first batch of the tests that were done. That's right, Beth and C.J. This is from the first 220 blood tests out of a group of about 1,700 that public health is asking to get tested. This investigation all started with one patient coming down with hepatitis C, possibly from injections at a Santa Barbara doctor's office. It's obviously a, a surprise to individuals if they didn't know they previously had hepatitis C. Dr. Takashi Wada with the Santa Barbara County Public Health Department says six people tested positive for the viral infection that can cause liver failure and cancer. The results are from the patients of Alan Tomaszewski, who received injections or similar procedures from the sports medicine doctor from June 2014 to March 2015. We really don't know if they're conclusively linked to Dr. Tomaszewski's offices or the practices that occurred there. They could have been pre-existing, uh, they could have been um, infected through some other mechanism. The positive blood tests will be sent to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention to determine if the patients contracted the virus at the Santa Barbara office that was shut down March 19th. There is another investigation in Oregon where Tomaszewski has a second location. That office is now voluntarily closed. Last week, the Oregon Medical Board limited Tomaszewski's license, and he's not allowed to perform sports medicine injections for the time being. Although Oregon does not have any cases of bloodborne illnesses possibly linked to Tomaszewski, they are reviewing the patient list to see if there are any matches to that state's disease database. We will then take that information and dig a little deeper and find out, uh, you know, contact those individuals and find out if they've had any exposure um, that would rule out the Ashland Clinic or rule in the Ashland Clinic. Back in Santa Barbara County, health officials are still waiting on more than a thousand blood test results and are starting a more targeted outreach to make sure former patients are contacted. If you had a procedure with Dr. Tomaszewski in his office, um, we do recommend that you get tested. The next step in the investigation is to find out if the hepatitis C came from the Santa Barbara office, but those results could take up to eight weeks. And they'll probably do that through DNA testing of the blood? They do. This is very, what's very interesting about this. They're going to send extra blood samples to the CDC. They're going to test it genetically to see if they all match. If they do, then they could link or uh, not link it to Dr. Tomaszewski's office. And that is what's going to take so long. And that's really the key in this investigation is to find out if these viruses came from one place. Okay. Right. Keep us posted. Thank you, Tori. Thank you.